Hey you guys, um, I my name is Nara, I am a real estate agent in Northern Virginia and I wanted to record a video today about how to price your house uh, so that you don't sit on the market longer than necessary and in, hours, uh, in our days right now, in these days, it's very strong seller's market and sitting on the market for like a couple of weeks is already considered a long time. So why some houses are sitting on the market, not going on the contract for a while, and others fly off the shelf within 24 to 48 hours? A lot of it has to do with the condition of the house. Of course, you have to prepare it, you have to paint it afresh, you have to make sure the, you know, to get rid of any smells. Um, I showed a house yesterday that reeked of a big, smelly dog, even though the house was vacant. Of course it's sitting on the market, nobody wants to touch it. Um, but a lot of it has to do with the price. If you underprice your house, let, let's start with overpricing. So let's say your market price is, let's say $700,000. You decide to ask for it $750 or $720, anything up above seven. You are pricing out people who are looking up to 700 out of the pool of potential buyers. They won't. They simply won't see because when they do their search, they put a maximum of 700. They're not going to see your house. If, however, you price it under seven, just under seven, 699 or 695 or seven even, you will actually get that pool of people looking up to seven. The more people you get in to see your house, physically not on pictures, the more chances of you getting multiple offers because you will have more people coming in to see it, more people potentially, potentially liking it, and more people potentially putting an offer. Let the buyers fight over your house. Don't fight with a buyer over a price. So that's how you achieve it. You just, you just make sure you price your house just a little under market price. Of course, your your agent, if you're working with a good agent, uh, will tell you your market price, so you will have uh, the the good idea of how much your house is really worth. If you don't have an agent who can tell you that, uh, call me. I'm more than happy to run the analysis and just send it your way. Um, the we usually in the listing presentations we show our sellers the pi the pyramid, right? The the pyramid that shows where your market price is right somewhere in the middle and then your top of the pyramid goes up and the, the higher you go with the price, the less, the fewer people uh, are gonna see the house, right? And if the lower you price your house, the more people you're gonna show to, to people, the more people are gonna want to come in and, and see the house. And uh, so that's just about the price, I hope it makes sense. But also, the, one of the main things you can do is prepare your house. And I've, re I've recorded a video about how to prepare your house, but just quickly to repeat myself, I'm gonna tell you. Fresh coat of paint, for sure. Uh, fresh flooring, if you have run down carpets, if you have uh, car the hardwood floor that can benefit from refinishing, or you can replace the, the floors. Uh, front door, absolutely no scratches, no sunburn, it has to be freshly painted clean. Landscaping in the front of the house, uh, please pay attention to it. People, When people arrive to your driveway and they see that the front of the house was not taken care of for a while, they will assume that the inside of the house, the rest of the house is also not taken care of. A lot of the time people just turn away, turn around and just go away, they don't want to see it anymore. So make sure the appeal, the front, the landscape is really clean and nice. Um, the windows have to be clean. Smells, any smell, invite someone over. Ask them to be honest with you and if they smell something, get rid of it. Uh, there are ionizers that will help you with that. If, if it's really strong pet smell or, or if, it's, if somebody smoked in the house, ionizer. Uh, just run it for 24 hours, it'll get rid of any any smell, including cigarette smoke. I've tried it, it works. Um, those are the things, if you see that your uh, light fixtures are older and show the age of the house, replace them. It's not expensive, but it will change the whole look of the house. The hardware on the doors, if you if you feel that they they show age of the house, replace them. Again, it's not expensive, but it, it makes the huge difference. Even the outlets, if your outlets are old and outdated, again, replace them. Nothing. It's not really a good in, big investment, but it's a good investment because it it 
it, the whole appeal of the house changes when everything in the house is up to date and modern. Um, that's the gist of it. But if you have any, make sure AC works in this heat. You don't want people coming in and opening your your house and it's hot. If it's it's if it's it's vacant, that is. Uh, make sure all the light bulbs are in. You know the basic stuff, but you don't really think about it until someone points it out. So make go over, uh, invite an agent. If you don't have an agent you're working with, uh, I'd be more than happy to come in and, and take a look and, and let you know what can bring you the most buck for your investment okay um, so and that's pretty much the gist of it just make sure then when you think about pricing your house just keep in mind that pyramid keep in mind that the more people see your house physically uh, in the in the first days on the market the more chances of you getting multiple offers again let the buyers fight over your house do not fight with the buyer over a price of your house um, I hope that makes sense. I hope that is helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions and I will uh, record another video. If you have any uh, questions or topics you'd like me to cover, please let me know. I am also looking for ideas about what the videos to upload to YouTube. And uh, of course, if you need real estate services in Northern Virginia, I'd be more than happy to help. Just reach out. Thank you and have a nice weekend.